Okay, so I could not um, stay inside anymore. Um, I am by the canal in Lachine. Um, and this is my, I brought my uh, sketchbook here, um, which I'm gonna work on uh, to do, uh, to start my process. Just gonna do a quick view of uh, what it looks like out here. It's awesome. Okay, so I went to 99designs uh, to choose um, a uh, contest. Um, I liked uh, the food truck idea. Um, I thought the branding idea would be good uh, since I have a background in, in cooking. And um, I found this one called um, Taco Shells, which is a UK-based food truck. Um, and they're young, they're vibrant, um, they want to have something new. Uh, so I think flat design is the new trend there. So um, I started uh, coming up with ideas, um, started doodling stuff down. Um, I like the Starbucks logo because um, it's by the ocean. I like the wave idea as well too and um, a few taco places I know. Um, as well as thinking about putting a shell in there, like a seaside, a, a seashell. So I looked at some taco logos on Pinterest just to kind of um, see what's out there, see the difference between what's happening with flat design and what's happening with um, kind of that hand-drawn design. Uh, for some reason, taco companies love the hand-drawn design. So that was kind of cool. Um, I was thinking about having the shell as well too. Uh, and then it brought me to a seafood um, taco place that I know really well in BC called Taco Fino, which is located in Tofino, BC on the island. And these guys are really popular um, because of their shrimp and, and uh, fish tacos. Um, and But they have a tattoo design, which is kind of distinct. Um, I'm not sure if it would have worked for um, this particular company. Uh, so I pulled a bunch of logos off of um, different sites, um, Del Taco, Taco Bell, Starbucks again, um, just to kind of really kind of, um, you know, have that mood board um, for colors as well too. I really wanted to lead with that, the wave design as well too, and I wasn't sure about the, the shell as part of the word. So I did some kind of, um, it's kind of initial put together with a circular design, um, trying to see if I can incorporate uh, the shell as well too, but which shell, like taco shell or, or um, clam shell, I wasn't 100% sure yet. So again, I started going back to the drawing board, figure out what I, you know, what I wanted to do. And then I did kind of uh, go with the, um, the taco shell, just cause I believed it was a little bit more uh, to the point, especially with food. You don't want to confuse people. If you have a, a shell, um, people are gonna automatically think it's like clam tacos or fish tacos and if they're, they want a beef taco they're not gonna go there which is you need to kind of represent all tacos um, so then I tried to um, kind of uh, change the colors around uh, like I wanted a white background but I wasn't sure how to encapsulate it um, so I did this gradient to see if it uh, worked um, I, I did like the the different colors of blue to represent the waves and then the shell um, as well too. And I went with the font uh, of Fidoka 1, a 17 point. Uh, it's kind of very simple, easy to reproduce, um, easy to read. I went with a blue color to match the waves as well too. And then I made that, that kind of thinner border ring. And I think it looked pretty good. Um, finished product was on an apron that you would wear. It kind of pops out. It's got that nice 2D design, uh, flat design. And um, yeah, it tells you they sell tacos here.